Lucky, lucky, lucky me. Oh, oh, oh. Lucky, lucky, lucky me. I won. Hello, everyone, and welcome back. Um, sorry if you kind of hear this noise. It's one of the machines going off. But uh, I'm going to try and speak kind of loud, louder so you can hear me. But guess what we're going over today? We're going to be going over the recently deceased palette by Melt. Now, if you haven't seen my last video, this is part two. Uh, I went over the waiting room palette. So this is going to be over this palette. Well, the difference also is, is that this one palette is actually cheaper. But I love the neon packaging. It matches the lipsticks. And the price for this one is 48 So today we're going to see how it performs. So yeah, I'm excited. Let's get into this. Well, I'm gonna act, well, before I do that, actually, I'm going to show you all this, the what it looks like. Gorgeous, yes. And I think today I'm going to be doing kind of like the green top look with purple and maybe do the purple eyeliner. I think that'll look good. So let's get into this. I'm not going to be using the, um, the brushes from the set. I'm actually going to be just using mine because I feel like I had some struggle, struggles while I was using them the other day. All right. So I'm going to be going in with the Beetlejuice color, which is like this really bright green. I'm going to be going, ooh, before I do that, i got to fix that. Let me know in the, because every time, because I prime my eyes before I get on camera, because there's like no need for you to watch me like beat my face. And I actually did my brows before as well, because it's like, might as well because I was trying to sit here and wait for the machine to stop making noise and it just didn't so I was like oh well you know what I'm just gonna go ahead and do it so I'm gonna go in with the Beetlejuice color and the brush I am using is the Morphe M433 brush it seems to be packing on nicely Which I like. Because I don't like. I noticed with the melt, I've been. Um, especially the last. Like, whenever I was doing the waiting room palette, I had kind of a hard time blending it. But, like I said in my video, it could be just me. <laughs> That, that is a gorgeous green. I love it. I'm going to go in from this side. Because I will say, do not ever... Well, you don't have to. I mean, if this is how you do it, then you prefer it. But I personally do not just do one whole eye and then do the other. Because by that point, I feel like I have already forgotten what exactly what steps I had done to get to this look, this other side. So I try to do it at the, like, you know what I mean, back and forth, back and forth. And I also, I'm just tired once I get to the end of this one. You know what I mean? So that's how I, that's what I do. If you're ever curious. But I mean, like I said, if you do it the other way and you prefer it, then I mean, that's you. You do you. So. I'm like a headache. I don't know why. It's like, oh my gosh, we finally had cold. <laughs> we had some cold water weather today. Uh, I think it was 70 degrees. And I was like, wow. Wow. Because if you've ever been down here, it does not ever, it's never cold. Like, I'm really surprised that it's not cold right, like, cold, cold right now. Because we don't really have, like, a, dr like, it's not, like, cold, like, in some place, like, like, North Carolina, how that gets its snows and things like that. Uh, but, I'm trying to think, um, we get, like, a wet cold. Like, it's very wet and gross, and I hate it. 
But I mean, hey, you gotta live with it, you know what I mean? I think a dry cold would be better, better. But I will say this as well, I have never truly been in snow. We, we've had snow before, but is it really snow? It's like sludge. It really is, it's like a sludge. Now I'm gonna go in with the draw a door, which is this color. And I'm gonna kinda go like up here and kinda go up with it. I'm still using the same brush. If you've ever watched my videos before, you will see me use a lot of the same brush. It's not that like I had, it's not like I just don't, like I don't hate all the other brushes. It's just, I've used, I don't know. I just, I just like using this brush. Actually, I may switch it up. I'm gonna use my Morphe M456 brush. Cause it's a little bit, it's like the same brush, it's just a little smaller. Cause I'm gonna try and, yeah. Today is like Wednesday. And it's just, I'm already tired. Like, I'm already done with the week. I don't know why. Like, it's like nothing bad happened. It's just, I'm already done with the week. And that's how I feel. But we are, guess what we're doing? We're gonna start getting ready for Christmas at my house. I'm already getting Christmases, Christmas packages in, or packages, presents in. So I'm gonna be able to start somewhat wrapping up presents. And things like that. I know it's not Thanksgiving yet. It's next Thanksgiving's next week. But at the same time, it's like, I love, I love buying gifts for people. If you're wondering what I'm doing, I am blending to the best of my ability. Because you know what, darling? I need to blend. Everyone needs to blend. Now, this is like a kicker. I'm trying very, very hard. Because I noticed in the last pot, whenever I was blending, I kept losing a lot of color. And actually, I'm not seeing that with this one. Surprisingly. Maybe it's just because, I don't know. But, so far, it's looking pretty good. Now, I will say, I need to blend that out because it looks like a straight up line. But, you can see my hairs, my eyebrow hairs are like long. I need to get them done. I need to get them done. I don't know if y'all have, I have a boyfriend and he cunts a lot. You know, what? by this point, really, it's like, I didn't even realize it's almost, I think it's, I think it's halfway through season. I'm not 100% sure. But whenever he leaves, I like to go do stuff. Like not like I'm that's not like I'm saying I like it when he's not here and I don't get to do stuff with him. I guess I'd love I love doing stuff with him, but I can do all my girly things. Like I cuz I feel like it's very awkward for him whenever I bring him like to Victoria's Secret or if I bring him I don't know. I like going to the comic book store. I like comic books and I feel like I feel very awkward with him sometimes whenever I'm going to places like that because I feel like he's so bored because with certain things we're just polar opposites like I'm not I'm not into hunting really it's not really it's not my thing it's never really has ever been my thing but I know he loves it so I'm not gonna tell him not to do it Whew. I need to clean my brushes I say that like every time I hang out with you guys. It's like, I need to clean my brushes. Because they always seem like they keep getting dirty. Because they do, because I use them. All right, now I wanna go in with the neurotic color, which is this gorgeous like shimmer color. And I'm gonna go kinda like
It's kind of giving me uh, some Grinch vibes. <laughs> it's kind of getting to that time of the year, you know what I mean? Now I will say the packaging, I absolutely love. I love it. I love it 100%. It's one of my favorite things is this this packaging for this. They actually, um, if you comment, like if you put them on your story, like Melt Cosmetics, they will like kind of, like the earlier, they liked my thing and stuff. And I was like, oh my gosh. And I told them how much I loved it and how much I actually really loved, like how much they put into it. And I'm like, I hope it makes their day. Like I hope it, I hope comments like that made their day. You know what I mean? Like, you know, whatever you, you just, you just hope for the best. You hope that they're having a great day. I don't know. <laughs> That's how I feel. Now I'm going to go in with the draw a door one more time. I actually feel like this is. Just to kind of like, because I feel like the draw, like I thought the draw your door would have been lighter than the Beetlejuice color but it really is more whenever you put it on it's more of a mustardy color so it's kind of like now I'm gonna go with my big old brush that I was using earlier for the Beetlejuice color just to add a little bit more green because you can never go wrong with green, darling. Never can go wrong with green. Yes. So that is the eyeshadow for right now. Which I love. Actually, I really do like this. Um, now, I'm kind of torn. Do I want to put some purple? Because I'm putting purple, like, on my on my bottom. But I'm kind of tinted to maybe... Mm. Yeah, I'm going to just keep it to my bottom because I'm going to be doing a purple liner. So, I don't want to... Yeah, you know. You know what I mean? Alright, so I think for my eyeliner, let's see. See what brush I want to use for my eyeliner. Because I used that little one the other day. Hmm. Do I have one I do? <sighs> Sorry if I'm sitting there like, ooh, like a quiet video today. Hmm, would that work? Yeah, I think I'm going to go in with this brush because it is a little bit, you know, like, I don't know, it's hard to explain. Like it's, I feel like it's gonna put more on. Ooh, look at this purple. Looks magic. Let me go in. This stuff is thick. No, I'm not gonna use that brush. I thought it was, but I am not, as I'll knock over the lipstick. I'm gonna go in with the same brush I used the other day, because I feel like I get more detail with it. It's smaller, but you know what? I do love. Imagine having rhinestones in your eyeliner like this, like purple, purple stones in it. That would be cool. One day, just do it. I always say that to myself. Just do it. Just do it. But, you know, 
I tell those kind of things to me and then I completely forget about them later. Because that's how I am. I always forget things. Like, I literally could walk into a room and completely forget what I was doing. But I mean, I feel like everyone kind of does that. But, like, whenever I mean I walk into a room, I literally... Okay, I could be sitting there at my desk doing something. Decide, you know what, I want a cup of coffee or I want a drink. I'll go into the kitchen, start a conversation. Realize, oh, look, there's something that I forgot I need to do. Goes off and do it. Literally three hours later, I realized I walked into that kitchen to get a drink. <laughs> And so, yeah, that's what happened. That's exactly what had happened. So, if you ever see me anywhere, you can be like, what are you doing? Do you remember exactly why you're doing that? And then I'll be like, oh my gosh, I had completely forgotten. Oh, the machine turned off. Cool. Now, we'll say if you haven't noticed, because it's kind of hard. It's like, like it's purple, but it's metallic. -y. It's not like the other ones, which these are mats. Yeah, these are mats. So, hoo -yah. I'm trying to make sure y'all can like somewhat see it. So, I think you can see it like that, yeah. And do not worry, when I rip this tape off, it's gonna be slick. And what I do, like, I didn't know if you saw it in my last video, but what I do is that I will get a makeup wipe and I will go back over that line and kind of get it up as straight as possible. Now we'll say this pigment I feel like was, it's not really a pigment. Like this one is the pigment paint and this one was the gel matte liner, which I feel like the paint came on a lot easier and smoother than the other one because this one actually is more like a gel and the other one felt more like acrylic paint. So if you're wondering. Make sure I had enough. Then yeah. Because that's how I feel about that. Because I, okay, I paint when I'm sometimes at home. And I'm like in deep thought and I like to paint because I feel like I can express my emotions that way if I don't have my makeup. And so I will sit there and paint and that's kind of what, what it felt like the other day whenever I was using the purple liner. No, not the purple liner, the green one. I was using the green liner, which was the ultra matte gel liner, the afterlife. And I felt like I was kind of using acrylic paint. Which, I mean, it's not like a problem. I just, this was on, was able to put on a lot smoother. And, whew. Yes. So this is the top eye. And like I said earlier, I'm going to get a new makeup because I was using one from earlier. I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab it, you know, clean up all those girls. Like, I have a bruise on my face. I was in a fight. It's just old. Anytime I use purple and green makeup, that's what I think about. Cause I wasn't when I was in theater. It was just one of those things that you knew. Okay, like I'm gonna show you. Gonna be easier with this and yeah. Go back over that line and like just like a good finish so yeah I 
I kind of just like smeared it a little bit, so I'm gonna clean that part up. <laughs> so, that's the top. And I'm gonna go back, do my face, and then we will come back, and then I will do the, the bottom of my eyes. All right, so I'll be right back. Hello everyone, and I am back. So if you've noticed, I have a face on. A little heavy on the blush, but okay. <laughs> But I put mascara on, some lipstick on. And what I actually did was I got the lip paint, the dark one that I really loved. What did I do with it? Where'd it go? You know when you put something on the dip? It's right there in front of my face. Um, so I put the lipstick on. The lipstick Calypso on. And then what I did was I actually got the paint. I don't know if you see my teeth. But I got this, which is, it is very, very thin. It is not a lipstick. It is not like a liquid lipstick. It's not a gloss. It's exactly what it sounds like. It's a lip paint. <laughs> and I just put like a little bit on inside my lips. Mm -hmm. Like that. And I kind of get my finger like kind of dead. And I blend it a little bit. So the inner part is a little darker than the outer part. All right, let's get into this. We're going to do the bottom of my eyes, which I'm gonna be doing a purple. So let me grab a nice brush for the bottom of my eye. Which one would work the best, huh? Which is this one, which is the Morphe M508 brush. It's like really smooth. You know what I mean? And I'm gonna go into Bio Exorcist, which is this very deep purple. Like that, and then after that, I'm gonna go in, or not Bio Exorcist, Lost Souls, that's the color I'm using. I was looking at Bio Exorcist. Gonna have quite a bit of fallout, I can see already. Do I look spooky? Spooky, spooky. All right. Can you see the fallout? Hmm. But it's okay. Cause you know what? I'm gonna get my big old fluffy brush. Right here. I'm gonna brush it away. It kind of did over there, but it's okay. It's all right. Now I'm going in with this brush, which is kind of like a thinner, but it's a little bit like fluffier. It's just the Morphe M124 brush. I'm gonna go into Bio Exorcist, which is a lighter purple. I think it went a little bit more on the side. Get this brush, which is my M456 brush. I use it to kind of like blend it out. Which is this look. And I think actually, because now thinking about it, I may add a little bit of the recently deceased, which is this like really, here I'm gonna just watch it for y'all so you can see it. It's kind of hard to see, but it's kind of chromey. You know, 
what? Actually, I'm just going to put it in this part of my eye. Because, you know, why not? I was thinking about it earlier, and I was like, no. It's okay. But, you know what? Actually, I'm just going to do it. Because, why not? And it's already on the inside of my eye. <laughs> if you have not can tell. They also have a color in here called Little Accident, and I kind of and I love it. But it's it's like this lipstick. It's like kind of like that color. Since I am using this purple, I'm going to go in with that All Souls color and kind of go just to kind of add some oomph. You know what I mean? Ah, yeah! And I'm going to kind of blend it a little bit. So, this is a look. Um, now, I will say, I really like this powder. I think I like this one better than the other one, honestly, because this one worked a lot easier and a lot. I just love the colors of this one. <sighs> so, I hope you all have a great day. And like I said, I give I like this palette, the recently deceased one. I like it better. It's cheaper. That's just me. But yeah, and I hope you have a great day and everything. Bye. So hit when I leave. Shouldn't know by your rap sheet that you were nice. But now I am telling you. I'm going to smile, but I would never, ever, ever would have believed.